Warm welcome to all of you from all of us here at Vatican Media, especially those of you joining us through the various Vatican Media channels, through the Vatican News web portal, our live events app, the Facebook live feed, or the YouTube channel. To all of you joining us through those television stations making this broadcast possible, to Catholic TV, Shalom World TV at Madarshan TV, Salt and Light TV, EWTN, and Catholic Faith Network. And some of you are also tuning in through radio. Welcome to all of you radio listeners, especially those joining through Luminous Radio. And the many of you joining us through digital platforms. Thank you for joining us in this noonday prayer on which we recall the assumption of our Blessed Lady, the dogma, was proclaimed by Pius XII on November 1st in 1950. And in an infallible statement, Pius XII declared that the Immaculate Mother of God, the Ever-Virgin Mary, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. And now we await our Pope who will lead us in the recitation of the traditional Angelus prayer in which we recall the incarnation of the Son of God within the Immaculate Womb of Our Lady. We find homilies of the Assumption going back to the 6th century. And we now see our Holy Father coming to the window, the, the crowds responding. Cari fratelli e sorelle. Dear brothers and sisters, good day. When man set foot on the moon, he said a phrase that became famous. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In essence, humanity had reached a historical goal. But today, in Mary's Assumption into Heaven, we celebrate an infinitely greater conquest. The Madonna has set foot in Paradise. She went there not only in spirit, but with her body as well, with all of herself. This step of the lowly Virgin of Nazareth was the huge leap forward for humanity. Going to the moon serves us little if we do not live as brothers and sisters on earth. But that one of us dwells in the flesh in heaven gives us hope. We understand that we are precious, destined to rise again. God does not allow our bodies to vanish into nothing. With God, nothing is lost. In Mary, the goal has been reached, and we have before our eyes the reasons why we journey. Not to gain the things here below, which vanish, but to gain the homeland above, which is forever. And Our Lady is the star that guides us. She went there first. She, as the Council teaches, shines as a sure sign of hope and solace to the people of God during its sojourn on earth. What does our Mother advise us? Today in the Gospel, the first thing she says is, My soul magnifies the Lord. Accustomed to hearing these words, perhaps we no longer pay attention to their meaning. To magnify literally means to make great, to enlarge. Mary aggrandizes the Lord, not problems, which she did not lack at the time, but the Lord. 
ci lasciamo sovrastare dalle difficoltà e assorbire dalle paure. How often instead we let ourselves be overwhelmed by difficulties and absorbed by fears. Our Lady does not, because she puts God as the first greatness of life. From here, the Magnificat springs forth. From here, joy is born, not from the absence of problems, which come sooner or later, but joy is born from God's presence, who helps us, who's near us, because God is great. Dio guarda i piccoli. And above all, God looks on the lowly. Not on our weakness in loving. He looks on the lowly. Mary, in fact, acknowledges that she is small and exalts the great things the Lord has done for her. What are they? First and foremost, the unexpected gift of life. Mary is a virgin, yet she becomes pregnant. And Elizabeth, too, who was elderly, is expecting a child. The Lord works wonders with those who are lowly, not with those who believe they are great, but with those who give ample space to God in their life. He enlarges his mercy to those who trust in him and raises up the humble. And Mary praises God for this. And we, we might ask ourselves, do we remember to praise God? Do we thank him for the great things he does for us, for every day that he gives us, because he always loves us and forgives us for his tenderness? And again, for having given us his mother, for the brothers and sisters he puts on our path, and because he opened heaven to us, do we magnify him and praise him for these things? If we forget the good, our hearts shrink. But if, like Mary, we remember the great things that the Lord does, if at least once a day we were to magnify Him, then we would take a great step forward one time during the day to say, I praise the Lord, to say, I bless the Lord. This is a small prayer of praise, this giving praise to God. With these little prayers, our hearts will expand and joy will increase. Let us ask Our Lady, the gate of heaven, for the grace to begin each day by raising our eyes to heaven toward God, to say to Him, thank you, as the lowly say to the great. Thank you. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedicto frutto venti tu Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Amen. E ce ancilla, Domini. Fiat mi secundum verbum tu. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedicto frutto venti tu Iesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Nel verbo un caro factum est. Et abitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedicto frutto venti tu Iesu. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis, Santa Dei Genitrix. Digni e ficiamo promissioni bus Christi. Grazie a tu, anque sumo domine, menti bus nostri si infunde. Uti angelo annunciante, Christi fili tu incarnazione in cognovium, per passione meius et crucem, a resurrezione gloriam perducamo. Per Cristo un dominum nostro. Amen. Gloria a Patria et Figlio et Spiritu e Santo. Sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spiritu e Santo. Sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spiritu e Santo. Sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. 
profidelibus e funtis, requiem eterna dona e domine. Et lux perpetua luce a teis. Requiescant in pace. Amen. Sin nomen domini benedictum. Ex hoc nunc et usque in seculum. Editorium nostrum in nomine domini. Qui fecit celum et terram. Benedicat vos, omnipotent Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Cari fratelli e sorelle, Dear brothers and sisters, the Virgin Mary, whom we contemplate today in heavenly glory, is the Mother of Hope. This title of hers has been, recently included, has been recently included in the Litany of Loretto. Let us invoke her intercession for all the situations in the world that are most in need of hope, hope for peace, for justice, hope for a dignified life. Today, I would like to pray in particular for the population of the northern region of Nigeria, victim of violence and terrorist attacks. I follow with particular attention the situation of the difficult the difficult um, negotiations between Ethiopia and South Sudan. I ask all of the parties to continue on the way of peace so that so that the the water might be the the river might continue to give life instead of to divide so that it might um, allow friendship to grow fraternity and never conflict or enmity may dialogue dear brothers and sisters of Egypt Ethiopia and Sudan be Di let dialogue be your only choice for the good of your dear populations and the entire world. I greet all of you, people from Rome and pilgrims from various countries, families, parish groups, associations. In particular, I greet the young people of Catholic Action of San Girolamo or St. Jerome's in Trieste. I wish all of you here present a happy Feast of the Assumption to those who are on vacation and those who do not have this possibility, especially the sick, those who are alone, and those who ensure indispensable services to us all. Today, it would be a beautiful gesture to visit a shrine to venerate, to venerate the Madonna. Those who live in Rome and those who are in Rome could go to St. Mary Major to pray before the image of the Salus Populi Romani. Happy feast to all of you. E per favore. Non dimenticatevi di pregare per me. Please do not forget to pray for me. E a domani. Have a good lunch and see you tomorrow. One little change there at the end of his normal signature closing. And this ends the live streamed broadcast of the noonday recitation of the Angelus with Pope Francis from here in St. Peter's Square on this feast of the Assumption. We'll be back tomorrow, as our Holy Father indicated, at 12 o'clock for the recitation of the Angelus for the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please visit the Vatican News web portal, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube accounts for coverage of today's Angelus and other Vatican and world news. I'm Sister Bernadette. It's been a pleasure to provide the English language translations for you today. And on behalf of Vatican Media, I'd also like to thank all of the technicians who've made this broadcast possible and, of course, to all of you for joining us. Once again, a most blessed feast day to all of you. 
Now day toward Jesus Christus. Praised be Jesus Christ. Are you looking for life-changing entertainment? Does what you see on most channels leave you feeling unfulfilled? Well, look no further. Shalom World TV brings the peace and joy of Jesus Christ to you, whether at home or on the go. To start watching, you don't need antennas, cable connections, or a dish. You probably already have what you need, if you have a smart TV, such as a Samsung, LG, or Panasonic, or if you have one with an Android, Opera, or Roku TV operating system. These can be found on the latest models of Sony, Toshiba, Vizio, Philips, RCA, Sharp Aquos, TCL, Insignia, Element, Hitachi, Vestal, Skyworth, Chang Hong, Konka, and Hisense. You can also watch Shalom TV on most IPTV streaming devices, starting with the fourth generation of Apple TV and Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Mi Box, Amino, Humax, or on TiVo Box through the Opera TV store. Are you a gamer or virtual reality enthusiast? We've got you covered. Shalom World is on Xbox One, Razer Forge, Nvidia Shield, and HoloLens. To start watching, all you have to do is go to the App Store, download Shalom World, and start being fulfilled by content that brings you into a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. For more information on how to watch Shalom World on your TVs and devices, visit us at shalomworld.org slash connected TV. Have a smartphone or tablet? Take Shalom with you wherever you go. Again, by downloading Shalom World from the App Store. If you prefer to watch from your Mac or PC, get the Shalom World desktop app. Or you can always watch from our website, shalomworld.org. And guess what? Shalom World is absolutely free on all of these platforms. Yes, free. There are no download charges and no in-store app purchases required, ever. If you're looking for life-changing entertainment, you found it. It's here, waiting for you on your Shalom World.